took it for a quick turn around the neighborhood just to get the engine up to temperature. Let's see where we are with the, the pneumatic. Alright, so on the outlet of my pneumatic, see I'm at 130 Fahrenheit. So pretty cold. On the inlet, look at that, I'm not even at 100. So this engine, look at it. I figure if I put a veggie mac in the outlet of my tank, mini-matic, disaster, huh? <laughs> then basically what I could do, this is my high quality clean machine, I'll put it right in here, another 100 watt veggie matic and that way my oil will be hot coming through my strainer, and this is my filter. See, my strainer actually doesn't have any heating to it right now. My filter is wrapped with coils, so the, oh, that's quite hot, a heating uh, coolant. Basically, uh, and the tank itself is heated. It's, uh, it's actually leaking on me. I mean, I'm a bit of a disaster here, but that's a heater core that's just basically wedged, or stuck into the fuel tank and silicone in place. Like, I'm not about pretty, I'm about effective. But this thing runs reliably. Like, listen to it run right now. And let me give you a quick little demonstration. Actually, I can't do it while it's running. But you see this, these piles that look like turds in this right here? This is a sludge that I'm pulling out of my pre-strainer. Highly recommend a pre-strainer in front of your filter, because otherwise I'd be changing this filter every week. Like basically every fuel up, every time I put fuel in it, I clean this little guy out, unscrew the glass, clean out this crud, and it saves the life of my filter. And I also, another little tip, uh, always have a bleed bulb to put, uh, so whatever time I do that, I, put, uh, I bleed the air out. And I also recommend on your filter, have a simple bleed uh, drain just to tap. You can open that out, bleed the air out, close it, it makes it so much easier because you get air in your system and it messes it up. So this is my little system. Like I guess I'm going to put another Vegematic in line. And I think with the Vegematic, my goal is to do away with the coolant heating. Um, basically, what I'm going to think about is using electric heating on the tank, just enough to keep it warm, and then use the Vegematic to heat the oil going through and heat the oil going into the engine. And then it'll probably still, to give it the final boost, probably still will use the coolant, run it through a heat exchanger, or if you're lucky like me, run it through ATF on the radiator. But that's my system. Check again once more. And it might cool down a little bit because now I don't have as much cold control. We're at about 120, 130 going in. My ignition is going into the Vegematic, not even 100. So I'm getting a good 30, 35 degrees heating from my bed to All right, closing off. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.